So I am now on my 12th real estate YouTube channel in 12 different states. You can say that, well, I show up in two days, I shoot 20 videos, they all work. I know what videos to shoot and which videos not to shoot. To this day, just the other day, I heard from some of the top real estate marketing YouTubers out there that you need to be shooting videos like restaurant interviews, local shop interviews, escrow process, inspection process. Should you be doing that? I'll give it all away. No, nope, you're not supposed to. So what I'm gonna do is really go through, you know, when I'm going to a new city, new town, I'm not gonna waste my time with videos that don't give me any business. I will go through the top five videos that absolutely work that I do in every single market and within usually a week, I start getting reach outs. If you wanna learn those and learn exactly how to do them, I'm getting after it right now. What's up everybody, this is Jackson Wilkie with the Channel Junkies and this channel I teach you exactly which videos to shoot, content marketing, and how to grow real estate YouTube channels that will change your life and your business forever. If that's the information you want, make sure you tap that subscribe button and you click the little bell so you're notified every time I do a new video. Uh, this is something that I absolutely love doing is shooting these videos, different cities, bringing in business, ideal clients, and it doesn't cost me a dime. But there are so many freaking people out there and marketers and it still drives me crazy to this day of the videos that we must be doing oh and we need to be attaching budgets to these videos and and remarketing and retargeting it's all garbage you do not need to do that and in fact when you're doing that you're killing yourself i still get it i get emails almost daily jackson hey you know struggling with my youtube channel i even paid some money or hey will you come check it out and i look and, and this one video has like five thousand views i'm like oh that's doing good Oh yeah, well, I, I put a budget to that. And I'm like, why? Well, I just wanted more views. And I'm like, why do we care about views at the end of the day? I always say I'd rather have three views of people searching and finding my videos than 300,000 views of me paying to get those. So how do I get more views? It's by doing the right videos. And with that, I'm gonna start right out. I'm gonna change this thing up. You've probably, if some of you have been with me for a while, um, some of this will be kind of be new, but you'll also hear how I do everything differently now. And also, yes, a couple new ones that I'm doing in every single market. So you're gonna wanna stay tuned. Obviously the number one is I, I, I do on every channel, just no question, uh, it is my number one killer at all times. So <clears throat> number five on the list, this is one that I kind of adopted later on after a couple channels uh, when I really started going through the mindset of moving and relocating. And I do, you know, where to live in blank city or city state when moving to city state. So where to live in Portland, Oregon when moving to Portland, Oregon. And the way I open this video up is I really just go, okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around the clock. I'm gonna talk about six, seven, eight of the major city suburbs sections that you'll find right here in Houston, Texas, in Portland, Oregon, so that you'll have a good understanding of a few areas that are gonna fit your lifestyle, but most importantly, a bunch of areas that won't fit your lifestyle. You know, And we're getting after it now. So what I do is I really just talk about a couple different city sections, areas, that are a lot different, that may be different uh, sides of the city. Uh, one's new construction, one's, you know, one's suburbs, one's real tight living, but all the, the walkability, the fun stuff. So I, I started doing this video, and if you heard at the beginning, I'm giving you the gold, uh, like I always do, I always give everything away for free, is I actually tell them, hey, you're gonna learn a few areas to live, but most importantly, you're gonna learn a bunch of areas that you wouldn't want to live. That is the big kicker right there. People want the truth. They want to rule out the bad. They're comparing, contrasting all these different cities and suburbs. And so these are incredible ways that you can now um, kind of be the, the, the market expert. And as I go into these cities, you know, um, I really just, um, you know, go in, see what I see and tell people what it's like to live in those areas. Now, you might be like, Jackson, how the hell do I do that about my own city? And more importantly, how are you going into cities you've never even stepped foot in and getting the amount of information needed because you always talk about long videos. Hell yeah, I want these videos 20, 25, 30 minutes long because the longer you have uh, these people's attention and I'm telling you with storytelling and going from suburb to suburb to section and really hammering on, this is why you reach out to me. I love when people call so I can understand their lifestyle. What do they need to be close to? What you like? To, you know, just a couple minutes of that, I can understand two or three areas you've never heard here in Houston, Texas that are gonna fit your lifestyle, but you gotta reach out. 
All right, so now we're going to jump to the next section. And you might be thinking, oh my gosh, where do you collect all this data, all this, all this knowledge? Look, guys, I'm just talking basics. In location to downtown, who's typically moving out that way? What's it close to? Is there any new jobs? Is there any new companies? Is it, uh, you know, the the ultimate like northeast, southeast Portland, the the funky Hawthorne Boulevard? That's what I'm telling people. But also, I need to know your lifestyle, right? So that first video is always where to live when moving to the city. Uh, the second video, so number four on the list, ten reasons not to move to this city. Again, I have learned over doing this thousands of times, and in all these different markets, people want to hear the bad stuff, and not like hey, this is the worst town ever. Do not move here. Like all the people in my comment section. No, I'm just telling you, hey, if you don't like the heat, if you don't like humidity, don't move to Houston, Texas. Like come basically April, May, June, July, August. It is one of the most humid places I've ever been. But my perspective is I came from North Idaho. It gets about six months out of the year of snow and I'm inside all the time. My kids are stuck inside. And that's actually the time, eight, nine months out of the year, it's 75 to 80 degrees down here. I love it. It's year round. Uh, yeah, you get slapped in the mouth in July and August with some serious humidity. And if you don't like that, don't ever move here. But that kind of honesty that I bring to these videos is why mine are erupting and exploding and getting thousands of subscribers within months. But most importantly, I don't lead with views and subscribers like all the other marketers. It gets me hundreds of calls, if not thousands. So in our first eight months with the new Houston channel, I know which videos work, which videos don't. Uh, the statistics are just over 6,000 subscribers, 480,000 views, give or take. So about a half million views. And we've had 1,200 reach outs. We've already put millions into escrow, closed, closed business. And that's what I go after. So I understand now that by telling people, hey, just being honest, it's, there's a lot of freaking cockroaches here, man. I got some cockroach. Me and kids are hunting cockroaches. So if you don't like them, don't move here. But here's what I learned about them. You actually call the Orkin man. They call. They come once a quarter. They spray the stuff. Smells like maple syrup in the house. Doesn't harm dogs. Doesn't harm kids. Doesn't harm anybody. Nobody's licking the, the baseboards. Well, at least that I know of. Um, but at the same time, you don't see them anymore. Uh, you'll catch them outside. You'll catch one random one here or there. But if, if you just absolutely 100% can't deal with cockroaches, don't move here. Again, I'm just so honest and I have a lot of fun with these stories that people you know, reach out. I love your honesty, Jackson. Oh my gosh, Joe, you guys, Joe, Jackson, you guys are so honest. You're, you know, everybody else, I've seen it. I've watched all the other videos from realtors out there and you guys are the most honest. Like <laughs> we get that across the board. So 10 reasons not to move, I'm doing. Number three on the list is going to be that cost of living. And again, us real estate agents, all we wanna do is sugarcoat everything and say, ah, eh, things aren't that bad in the, the housing market. And we're at one oh, you know, 407,000 here. It's, it's not that, I'm really diving deep into um, some costs. Yes, I'm gonna touch on the housing market, how much that's going up, but how pivotal it is for you to reach out because look, housing market's going up, there's no inventory, that's a given but it's these unexpected costs, like living in North Idaho per se. If you, you know, a lot of these houses have wood stoves. I'm telling you, I grew up in every house I've ever had, it is all wood stoves. Now, a lot of the newer homes, you're gonna have um, heaters or heat pumps. You know, the average bill on that, you're looking, especially in the dead of winter, especially January, February, when it's ice ass cold, below freezing, you know, you can start getting up to the $200 plus. In fact, what I used to do, is I had heat, but what I did is I actually bought Presto logs. Now I grew up logging and cutting firewood. That's all I did growing up. I did it in high school for money. I'd have cords of wood. If you want to buy cords, it's right around 250 to 300 bucks a cord of wood for all you cold weather people. You know what I'm talking about. Um, so you can go buy that. Look in the nickels worth. You can get you know a couple cords delivered to your house. It'll take you about two to three cords to get through a North Idaho winter. So you're looking at about 800 to 1,000 bucks, but don't wait till winter because the price goes up and the supply goes down. So summertime is when we go up and collect our firewood. You can also buy Presto logs. They're compressed sawdust of red fur. So you can hear me. I'm telling stories and I'm being local. And that's the kind of cost that I'm talking about with my people. You know, here in Houston, I was like, one of the freaking worst costs ever. I'm talking ever is the power bills. And I'm not talking because it's hot. Here in Houston, like no other place I've ever been in my life, you have to shop your power. Yes, you don't just pay the power company like I've always done everywhere else in my life. I got slapped in the mouth here. You have 300 different providers and you have to go through and shop. So this is all the stuff that local people take for granted, right? That it, I'm new here and it caught me off guard and I had a $600 power bill in the middle of August. So guess what all our reach outs are? Oh my gosh, Jackson, thank you so much for all your advice. It's amazing. I'm moving my family there. We have an $800,000 budget. Can you help me? Like I'm just being honest, open. And so that cost of living video is definitely one you gotta do. 
Look, I love this. I'm going to get into my next two. They're just the top, top doggers. But I love doing this with people because it's very area specific. I, you know, some of these areas I might tweak things. I can just tell the kind of people that are moving there. You know, I coach agents up. We are looking for partners all across the country, out of this country to partner with us. Now, that means not I don't need to fly there, take any of your money, nothing. But we have these one on one conversations. You wouldn't believe the agents that come with me and they're like, all right, dude, I just don't know what to shoot. In 20, 30 minutes, I start asking all these questions to them. It unearths like 20 different videos of stories. And they're just like, oh my gosh, how do you do that? Well, I've mastered this. I've moved a lot and I just understand the YouTube algorithm and what people want to hear. So if you are interested in partnering with us, getting all our courses, getting all our coaching for free, everything, make sure you shoot me an email, man. Jackson at realagentnow.com. You get it all for free and you get coaching with me for free. So I can really turn your videos and your business around. Number two on the list, pros and cons. This is because people wanna hear the cons. It's not because of the pros. So you need to really understand that when you're doing these, again, us real estate agents, oh my gosh, I'm selling this cute little three bed, two bathroom house. It's like 800 square foot and it's a dump. We've got to start being a little bit more honest. And again, you're not just shredding. And if you've noticed, a lot of these videos, I've completely leaned away from everything is perfect and sunny and beautiful. And I see those videos and those agents, I've had a couple that joined us and I coach them up and I look at their videos. They're all four, five, six minutes long and everything is perfect and cute. And I love that street. And, and it's just, it's so phony, right? People want to hear the truth. Now, the truth, you know, the pros, the cons, again, I'm talking about stuff that just is here, you know, but I always negate it with stuff. So, you know, hey, mosquitoes here. My wife, it looks like she played goalie for a dark team. We found out she's type O. If you're type O blood type, just know you're going to get hammered with the mosquitoes here. But I can tell you one thing. I talked to all the locals, my neighbors drinking brewskis were hanging out and I'm like, these mosquitoes, what the hell? They're like, oh yeah, man, go get you out of thermosel, man. You got thermosel. I'm like, what the hell's a thermosel? So now I had to go find a thermosel. I got like seven of them. My wife wears them as earrings. She puts them on and the mosquitoes are gone. I actually carry one in my hunting pack now at the deer lease and you'll rarely see mosquitoes. So if you're going to move here, look into thermocells as well as there's companies that come and they spray. But yeah, man, mosquitoes can get bad, especially after rains. You know, you'll see them hatch and grow. But at the same time here with the mosquitoes, I've actually lived in Idaho. I've been to Alaska, Canada. There, there's mosquitoes everywhere. They can be bad, but just know you can negate those with, uh, you know, thermocells or getting it sprayed. So that's kind of how I talk through my pros and cons. And I really really try and make this one long. I'm usually going at least, if I don't make 20 minutes, I'm usually pretty pissed off or I'll stop and I'll write a few more down. I'm trying to get to that 30 minute mark on the pros and cons. Um, I'm really trying to get my channels into the suggested and browse, which I do now very, very quickly. Um, and that's again, something that, you know, marketers and people teach that just drives me crazy. Don't worry, I'm going to get to the number one video here soon, but I need to stress the importance of sometimes you can have the perfect title. You can shoot these videos, but you can absolutely bury yourself and your channel to where they never get off the ground. And so by being open on a shooting 20, 25, 30 minute videos, and most importantly, never sharing any of your videos to your friends, family, Facebook, Instagram, which is getting taught everywhere. That is killing your channel. Think about it. If someone has moved to your city and, you know, they type in and, and search and find your perfect video title and watch, you know, 38% of your 30 minute video and that's a 13, 14 minute average view duration, that video is going to dominate, crush. It may take a month or two for the algorithm to kick, but once it does, I have some videos within four months that have over 400,000 impressions. That means that video is very, very good. It's, it's, it's got people kept on the platform for long, longer than any of the other you know, pros and cons videos, and it's placing it everywhere because it wants people to come to the platform. So if you are burying your videos in front of you know, your friends, family, and other realtors just to get views because... That's what everybody else sells out there is views and subscribers. I got this many. It's all BS. So make sure you are just, it's hard. I've started 12 channels. I always kick myself in the nuts like, God, this is so painful. Is this going to grow? But I stay patient. I tell my partners, if I catch you sharing these videos on social, partnerships done. Allow the algorithms to kick in organically. It works. Number one video that I do every single city that I go to is the master vlog. This is the hardest on the planet. It takes a ton of time and energy. Um, and it can be something that really scares people from even getting into video because they see the ones that I do. But I show a master vlog of the city. I'm going to go hit five to seven of the major city suburbs. I'm going to drive through. 
I've never even been to these areas in my life, but I understand just looking around and anybody out there who's watching this, who's been with me, you know, partner with me or whatever, you kind of just marvel at like, oh my God, this is it. This is all this guy says or does, or I ask you a simple question, who's moving here? What's going on here? And you're like, oh my gosh, yeah, there's actually an Amazon down the road. And so we're seeing so-and-so move here and, and live here and all right, perfect, pull over. All right, so here we are right in the heart of Neverland. And, and actually the cool thing is, you know, Amazon's just about 10 minutes away. This is also an area where you can get um, all of your space. You know, there's lake over here and people really like to kind of get away from the city, but yet only 20 minutes. But, you know, also the people that are coming here working from home, you get your dream spot too. Um, or third is, you know, the Amazon's coming out this way. Boom, let's hop in. So I'm, I'm going city to suburb and in each one of those, I'm shooting a, an intro and an outro. So now I have vlogs of all those cities and suburbs. The vlog is just an incredible way I have found to really lock down those keywords of the city suburb. Um, they keep people's attention for a long time. And so with that, you know, usually I can rank a, a vlog number one for a city suburb because it's going to keep people engaged for a long time. Good average view durations, but you got to do them right, especially if you're, you know, delegating. Uh, man, I, I have a crazy, crazy, crazy system where I, um, you know, I, I order all of my clips. The way that I speak in my video to my editor constantly it blows everybody's minds whenever they ask, you know, my, my students or, or my actually my partners, the agents that join with us. You know, I go through this and I teach them how to talk to their editor on on. I've had to figure all this out because there was nobody doing this. I, I invented that real estate vlog and it's what I do in every market. You do not have to. I get it if you're like, I can't go outside. I think everybody's looking at me. You don't. There's plenty of people having success with green screen or just sitting in an office like this. I shoot you know, 80% of my videos just like this as well, but that vlog is really the one that can separate you, your boots to the ground. I understand, you know, what to say, what to do can be difficult sometimes. I got a lot of videos. In fact, I have one on this channel, how to vlog for realtors. I, I actually take you through a city, a sub and show you exactly how I vlog it, how I, you know, put the clips in there, whatever. So, um, you know me, I give it all away, but I love taking people to the next level. And so does, you know, Jesse, my partner and everybody, if you have any interest, you know, partnering with us to where I can really dive into your YouTube channel, your business, maybe it's not even YouTube. Maybe you have other aspects, you're getting business, but you need to scale, grow, find systems. We obviously mastered it not once, but we're in 12 markets. Everything is systematized and we love it. So reach out to me, Jackson at realagentnow.com to learn any more about partnering with us. And these videos right here, my friends, are the ones that are gonna help you blow up your YouTube channel. Now you know which videos to shoot. Those are gonna be the ones that help you. And until the next video, guys, we'll catch you later.